In this video, I show you different aspects of uh, setting the bobbin and setting your machine ready with the thread and settings. So let's fill the bobbin spool. There could be different methods in different machines. Some machines may have this aspect or this method or some machine may be needing manual manually filling the thread. I have this boutique machine. It, it is also called umbrella machine or uh, industrial machine. This is a locally made Rohilla made machine which is, which is operated with foot paddle and electric motor. Though even if you have a domestic machine or any other machine, you can use this uh, the tips that I give in this video. So watch this video till the end. So it is useful for you. Remove the thread from up and remove the bobbin case from the below. This is your bobbin case. This is the shuttle which moves while you stitch. So almost all the machines have one basic uh, purpose of making straight and back stitches. And for that purpose, you need to start this winding or filling the thread process. So we remove the spool from the bobbin case. I have some thread already there which I don't want. So either you can save it on some cardboard or uh, you can use it for hemming or button sewing or something and then using a new spool place it on your spool bobbin uh, there would be one small hole put the thread inside inside out or outside in the purpose is just to hold the thread while we wind the bobbin wrap it so the thread doesn't come out cut the extra fabric the loose thread from the top side and now because I don't have this uh, inbuilt thread assistant, that bobbin assistant. So I place it on the wheel, holding the thread firmly and then fill your bobbin. You can fill it till the ends. Cut the tangled ends. So this is, this I filled half but you can fill it till full. So place it in the case and there would be one small hole on this bobbin case and uh, from under this plate, small plate, just pull the thread so it should come smoothly out. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. Okay, now we thread the needle. So place the thread. The one end, the loose end should be plain and smooth. Take it out from the upper thread guide. Then there is a tension wheel, this lever, wrap it around it so it comes out smoothly. 
Now this thing is used for adjusting the thread tension. So this is thread tension lever or reel. So take the thread out from this and there is one thread guide. Take your thread out from here. This is take up lever which goes inside and out up and down. So when you move the hand wheel it comes up. Thread is run around this wheel like thing. Then we insert in this hook that is our thread guide. We go lower in this machine. Stuck the thread with this side hook. From the side thread the needle. In some of the machines thread is inserted in the needle from front. Now pull the thread slightly while you move the hand wheel which is on the side of the machine. You just move it and thread would come out. Now we want the bobbin thread to be pulled by the needle. So we move the hand wheel but sometimes what happens the thread is stuck and the bobbin thread doesn't come out smoothly. So take this spool from the this bobbin from the bobbin case. See a small piece of uh, thread is coming so cut it. Place it neatly and smoothly so the thread should be coming out smoothly. Then put the bobbin again. Try it while the needle goes inside that uh, around that bobbin. So it pulls the thread from below. The thread should be coming smoothly without any pressure. Let's Try your stitch before stitching on a final dress or a fabric. Before that, set the stitch length. There is a stitch regulator. While we go on 0, it goes backwards. Then from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are different stitch length. Normally 3 is the number where we set the stitch length. If you want to pull a thread to make gathers in your dress like in frocks or gathered sleeves or something then you set it on 5 otherwise 3 is okay. Now take 2 layers of fabric and set the thread tension so the thread is tight or loose as needed needle should be a new needle preferably because very old needles are rusted or they are bent so the thread the stitch would not be nice if the needle is old The top as well as the lower stitching, the stitch should be neatly done. There should not be any lint or dust inside your machine. So clean that before starting thing. Now while you stitch or make something, there are going to be some funny moments and some, you know, those dangling things. So this is what... I just uh, happened to do 
because uh, no matter how careful you are or how long you have been doing something sometimes it happens that thread goes around and then you have to set it right so don't lose heart even if you also have these experiences because these are the things these are little things which makes our sewing happy so stay happy take care please like the video take care bye bye